Hi everyone! Today I want to share with you how to plant allium bulbs. Alliums are truly the unsung heroes of the late spring garden. Their bold and whimsical blooms burst into flower just as the tulips fade, adding regal and whimsical flowers to the transitioning summer garden. The most commonly grown alliums are Purple Sensation, Globemaster, and Gladiator, all which have large round purple blooms, but there are also lesser known allium varieties that make excellent additions to the garden. Allium atropurpureum has dark burgundy purple florets on tall, stiff stems. Sicilian honey garlic produces cascading, whimsical blooms. Or check out my personal favorite right next to me, Allium schubertii, which looks like a living firework out there in the garden. Not only are there varying bloom forms, colors, and also heights, but they all have varying bloom times. So by planting a wide variety of different alliums, you can have these awesome flowers in bloom from May all the way until July. And I especially love them because they're reliable perennials that aren't bothered by deer, rabbits, or squirrels. And they also will readily self-seed around the garden. And the great thing is too, once they're done blooming, you can just leave their seed heads there in the garden to add structure and interest to the leaves summer into the fall garden and what I really love to do is cut the flowers and then bring them inside and dry them that way I can use them in fall and even winter floral designs or use them on my dried flower Christmas tree now most allium bulbs are hardy in zones 3 through 8 and they should be planted in the late fall or early winter after the first frost but before the ground freezes and planting depth and distance between the bulbs will vary greatly depending on the particular variety because you can see allium bulbs really vary depending on the particular variety. This one is a bulb from Pinball Wizard and this is a bulb from Allium Graceful. So the proper planting depth and distance between the bulb can always be found on the packaging, but as a general rule, you want to plant allium bulbs two to three times as deep as the bulb is tall with room for two to three bulbs between each plant and just place them in an area that receives full to half day sun, well draining soil, plant them pointy side up, cover them back up with soil and give them a bit of water if rain is not in the forecast. Now I personally love to plant alliums in the middle of a flower border because their foliage will often start to yellow before or right around the time when they bloom. So by planting them amongst other perennials, annuals, or other flowering bulbs or shrubs, you can really disguise that yellowing of the foliage and instead focus on their gorgeous blooms. Now, after blooming, you can either leave the seed heads in the garden to act as a decorative accent, or if you're concerned about the heavy self-seeding that can happen with varieties like Purple Sensation or Drumstick Allium, you can simply remove the seed heads before that seed is dispersed. Now, all the alliums I mentioned thus far are grown from bulbs, but there are also herbaceous alliums that are generally planted in the spring. My personal favorite variety is called Millennium. The foliage on Millennium almost looks like chives, and it has these beautiful, small, light pinky purple blooms in the very late summer, and they're wonderful for tucking into hand-tied bouquets. But really, no matter what kind of allium you choose to plant, be it bulb or herbaceous perennial, I just hope you'll give these whimsical blooms a try. They're easy to grow, reliable perennials that aren't bothered by insects and disease. And what more can we ask from a wonderful flower? Oh yeah, it blooms at a fabulous time of year when there tends to be kind of a lull in the garden. So definitely think about giving alliums a try. Happy gardening. Bye.